be coming up on this show. We have a beautiful lady here, too. The two of you together must have stopped with all the traffic, huh? Well, I don't know if we did that, but we had a great chance to have an exclusive interview. I don't know if I told you earlier, but recently we caught up with Jane Seymour, that beautiful actress of star and stage of such hits as East of Eden and Lassiter. Well, we were at the Palm Beach Polo and Country Club, and Jane talked with me about her life in the fast lane. In this out-of-the-world game of polo, where wealth and power mingle beside beauty and glamour, one star seemed brighter, and that star was Jane Seymour. Jane, who is expecting her second child in July, talked of stardom and motherhood. Well, it's, it's uh, a juggling job. It's hard, um, immensely satisfying, and I wouldn't enjoy either one of the roles without the other, so it's always a compromise, but it's a worthwhile one. Is there a particular role that you might have in mind in the future where you can really draw on first-hand experience of being a mother and a nurturer? Uh, every time I get offered a role, I, I read and see if there is something that I feel I especially can contribute to it. And I always try and do something that means something special to me. Um, you know, I, I've read some things recently that I, I'm quite excited about. Um, I'm producing a movie, in fact, for ABC. What is it? It's the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'm doing for prime time television. And um, I'm playing the wicked stepmother, but I hope I don't draw upon my own stepmothering <laughs> duties. <laughs> now, you, you, you said you have stepchildren. One. How yes. do you get on with her? Very well. I, I've known her since she was born, just about. And uh, as far as we're concerned, she's not a stepchild. She's really just another daughter. And your husband, he's sort of in the business, isn't he? He's a business manager, which means that he handles the financial um, side of people's lives. He doesn't uh, get them jobs, and he doesn't read scripts, and he, what he does is he negotiates deals, and does the taxes, and the bookkeeping, and the investments, and anything to do with the money he handles. He'd take on another client. <laughs> I could use him now. Yeah. Now, did you meet him in the business, or did you know him before? No, I hired him. I hired his company, and um, I met him through the company. It was, but, but I needed a good business manager, and I knew better than to date one. And uh, he had two rules: one was never marry an actress or date a client, and the other one was never invest in a restaurant. Well, we've just invested in a restaurant, so <laughs> <laughs> never say never. Right? Never say never. You know, Amadeus, the, the film, took yeah. so many awards and, yes. and so deservingly. How would you compare, if you can step out of the play a little bit, from a subjective point of view? The play to the film. I haven't seen the film yet. I hear it's really remarkable and extraordinary, but I would imagine, um, obviously, in film, you, you have a much broader view of things. It has to be a different experience from the theater. And the, the most marvelous thing about Amadeus as a, a stage play was that it was unique in its staging. It was unique in its direction. It was a, a very theatrical experience in its own right. And I think what's wonderful, obviously, with Amadeus, the film, is that it's been made into a cinematic um, spectacle. So it's not just a play that's been transferred to film. How do you relax? How do you just kind of kick back and say, this is my time? It's very hard to do when you have children because you want to use the time that you have when you're not working to give them a good time. So to me, spending time with my children is my relaxing time. Um, but I love to go riding when I'm not pregnant. Uh, I, we have a house in England, a 15th century house, and uh, a barn and about five or six horses there. And I love going riding. My husband plays polo most weekends, and I go and, and play. I don't play polo, but I ride the polo horses after they've been, been played. And um, what else do I do for fun? I just hang out with friends, and uh, I love to ski. But, uh, well, from James Vaughn to Amadeus, what's your favorite Jane Seymour? Oh, I have some favorites. I, I loved The Sun Also Rises, which of course was a big flop. Um, I loved East of Eden. I'm very fond of a little film called Somewhere in Time, just because it, it's um, emotionally very satisfying to me. And, I meet more people in the world, all over the world, who come up to me and, and tell me how much that, mo that one movie moved them. Um, I've never done a TV series in this country. No, I, I really don't want to, at least not at the moment. I like my anonymity. I like the way that I can, every time I do a movie, I can play a completely different character. I can either be very evil or very, you know, do a love story or do 
as I've just done a comedy. And she is just and a gorgeous lady. And you have to come on soft. Yeah. I